Hello everyone, this is Kevin Reeve in 7RXE with a report from the Bridgerland Amateur Radio Club's field day. Up in the mountains of northern Utah at about 7,600 feet, we had a beautiful field day site. This is how we put antennas up. Ted MacArthur, AC7II, and his super secret uh, spud gun for launching antenna support systems way up in the trees. You can watch the launch here. And you can see it again in slow motion. Pretty darn impressive. This is the uh, Radio Waves folded dipole. It's the first time we've used one of these at field day. And we had about seven antennas in the air this year. Uh, we ran a 5 alpha. Uh, field day site, but we wanted to test various antennas. So this was a new uh, test of a of a folded dipole. We're very fortunate to have a great relationship with the Cache County Sheriff's Office, so they allow us to use the uh, mobile command post for our field day site, and it works really, really good. It has air conditioning and a heater in it. Kind of makes uh, operating in the hot summer sun uh, really nice. This is the uh, MFJ 43-foot vertical antenna that Theo K7TWT brought. Uh, something brand new for him. He wanted to give it a try. Our ladies group is really, really active. These are licensed amateur radio operators building uh, parts for their grab-and-go kit. Here they were working with 12-volt adapters and Anderson power poles and alligator clips to make sure they had all the right connections for their grab-and-go kits. We had about a dozen ladies participate this year with this uh, activity. It isn't field day without a fun bunny hunt and uh, we had two hidden transmitters thanks to Gary Roberts AG1T and uh, there were many folks who went out uh, looking for those bunnies and at night it's the six o'clock uh, potluck dinner this year we had barbecue beef and chicken and all the trimmings and as you can see what took precedence during uh, dinner time it was food, not radios. Well, our field day was a great success. We had about uh, 60 to 70 people who participated over, over the course of a few days. Some went up early and started camping uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Others even earlier as they uh, reserved the site for us to make sure we had uh, pristine location. Anyway, that's an overview of the Bridgerland Amateur Radio Club 2012 Field Day. This is N7RXE, Kevin Reeve, 73.